Where are the men? Where are the men? In Matthew 26, we hear a story about a woman who came to Jesus with an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil. And she used this to actually pour it out on Jesus' head and anoint him as he sat at a table with the disciples, all these men gathered around. And here she was, she gave her very best. She held nothing back. And Jesus even said that what this woman did whenever the gospel is preached in the whole world, that what this woman has done unto Jesus will be told as a memorial to her. You see, she not only blessed Jesus, but by blessing Jesus and holding nothing back, that she was blessed herself. And not only was she blessed, but the entire house was filled with the fragrance of that oil. And so when she held nothing back, she gave her best to Jesus. Then she was blessed by giving her best to Jesus, by breaking it and being poured out. And then as a result of that, it made a difference in the entire house. This one woman held nothing back. And the smell, the fragrance lingers to this day. But where are the men? You see, those men, all they were able to do when they saw this outpouring of worship and praise to Jesus, all these men were able to do became indignant and they troubled the woman, wondering why this gift was given in such an elaborate, extravagant way. Where are you men? Where are the men that will worship Jesus as extravagantly as she did? Where are you men who will pour out your life for Jesus Christ? Where, where are the men who are willing to break it? poured out and blessed the very heart of Jesus himself.